supposed to dance or something? No, you don't okay. have. There's no rules here. You I can... loved it when Barack Obama danced. That yeah. was really cool. That was cool. That yeah. was really cool. But you can dance if you want. You don't have to. I'll just do a little chair dancing right now. Okay, okay. great. All right, don't do that again. All right, all right. All right. I might pull something. First of all, uh, it's very nice to have you here. I'm a fan, and you are just, you're so good in every movie that you do, and, and different in every movie also. I don't know if Thank people you. realize the d diversity that you have, like in Chicago and in Boogie Nights, and so I, look at the, the different. <laughs> <laughs> very different. I love mostly, that yeah. movie. I love that movie. <laughs> Step Brothers, really. Now, would you like doing comedy more than doing drama? I just like being employed, mm -hmm. <laughs> honestly. Uh -huh. I mean, people make a lot of hay lately because I've been doing some comedies in a row, but those are the jobs that came my way, you mm -hmm. know? And I, my, my only rule I have is to change it up as often as possible yeah. so that people are surprised and when they come to see me in a movie, they don't know what I'm gonna do based on who I am. Mm -hmm. They just, you know, they, they see me as that character when they're sitting there. Well, I think that you do that. Um, and what do you think it is that sets you apart? Because you really do get a lot of work. How do you mean, like my a feature know. of mine? Yeah, or something? I don't know. You just you just <laughs> seem to work a lot. What sets you apart from other actors that are? I would have to say my tush. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm going for. Yeah. 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 Can um, we see it? Apparently, some of your staff did some research, and that's something that's out there. Uh, Can I? I'll have to say, that's a first for me, Ellen. Uh -huh. That's a first, showing my tush on TV. Really? On purpose. I, I, I'm a modest yeah. Chicago guy. Like, I think you're going to get a lot more work now. <laughs> you know when that sort of really started to come together for me was when I did a movie called Prairie Home Companion and I wore chaps all day. Uh-huh. I think chaps frame the buttocks <laughs> in a they, special way. They really do. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, that, there's a reason for that, I'm sure, right? Well, cowboys like to, their tushes to look exactly. good. Exactly, so exactly. They just design them that way, I guess. And so you're, you're playing a vampire in the new film. I am. Right? And, and will you be a vampire for Halloween, or will you be... Do you like to dress up for Halloween? Halloween for me is kind of like New Year's Eve for a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I dress up all year long, you know uh -huh. what I mean? Right. So it's the one night when everyone else dresses up, you know? But I still enjoy it, and I always have. And even as a kid, when I was just getting started, you know, with acting, doing plays and stuff, I really looked forward to it every year because, you know, when I was a kid, it, you couldn't just... You know. Wow, that looks homemade. It is homemade, <laughs> which is what I was about to say. When I was a kid, you couldn't just go to a store and buy a costume. You had to make it. And my mom would really encourage us, like, what do you want to be? We'll make it from whatever we have around the house. And clearly, that's what we did with that one. <laughs> Not all pirates have construction paper hats. No. No, I But I, I carried it on later into my life, too. I could still, like, I love to work on costumes, and, you know, when I do uh, a character, they always I participate in the costume. And, and even as an adult, when I shouldn't have been really trick-or-treating anymore, like, <laughs> I would still come up with... Do we have any more pictures of me from I, Halloween? Do we have one more? There's one. Now, I should explain this one. This, yeah. was, this was totally do-it-yourself. That was a wild turkey whiskey was having a promotion at the liquor store near my house, and they had these styrofoam wild turkey coolers. So I said, can I have that? And then I punched out the bottom and put, made my legs like turkey legs, and then <laughs> put overalls on it so it looked like I was riding a turkey. <laughs> Which... It really was very appealing for some reason. Right. Of course, now I look at it, yeah. the turkey's head is in a weird yeah, place. Yeah, I think so. It, it should have been a little longer, personally. Yeah, it, uh, it just looks a little... I've got reins on it, and uh -huh. I'm pulling it back. Uh, yeah. Anyway. That's not a good... <laughs> um, I was really proud of that one. Yeah, well, you should be. Um, and, and I also heard that you're a, a fan of a show that I like watching, which is Hoarders. Yes. Are you watching Hoarders? I've watched every hoarder. Everyone? Yeah. And what do you... I mean, I'm just fascinated by it personally, but what do you... Do you, do you have that? <sighs> I think I have a touch of... Do touch you? of hoarder. Really? Just a touch. Uh, in what way? Uh, not so much. I'm like a cyclical hoarder. You know, I'll just do a clean sweep, you know. But my office... My wife makes me limit it to my office area where things just kind of rise slowly around me until I'm like, I can't see. 
I have to clear it all out, but that show is amazing because I think there is a little, it's a, it's a naturally occurring thing in almost everybody that, oh, I, I should hold on to this maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't like holding on to stuff. I like clearing out and not. But, Except but, you, I meant but, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's interesting for us to see that, that other people have that, and then they can relate to it and go, oh, I, I guess I do have a little bit of that. But yeah. it, is, it, is, it does get to a point where it's a tipping point, like, oh, I'm scared to throw anything away, and then you have way too much stuff. And then it's, it's not just like a bunch of stuff stacked around someone's house. It's the relationships. It's what the impact it's right. having on their lives and their family. And yeah. It's often very sad. No, I know, it yeah. is. But it's just, it's fascinating to me. Um, I think you're an amazing actor, and I'm, I'm so happy that you've been here. Come back again. Thank you.